Hello everyone, welcome to Forna Farming in the Philippines. Well, I had I didn't know what the plan was because um, I, I had not talked to Tata yet today. Tata, you're making me afraid. I was I could not go to sleep last night. I didn't get to sleep till almost 4 a.m. and. Uh, I knew that the weather wasn't going to be great today, so I didn't set my alarm to get up in anticipation of, of having a lot to do today. And as it turns out, the crew didn't show up until after lunch anyway, so no harm, no foul. Uh, we've got to get this. There could be some substantial rain heading our way. I just looked at the radar. It might even be here this afternoon if we're going to get it. Cebu is going to get hosed. There's no way around it. Uh, the only question is whether or not it's going to come far enough south to affect us. So, uh, this is about to overtop here, and we could get some serious, serious rain. So, uh, we need to get this in. We need to get this pipe in. So, kind of the plan today, you know, we've, we've got it all set out here. And so we're going to begin setting it in where Ablett is um, and just work our way this way until we get to the point where uh, we can release and then we're going to, there's going to be a pretty good outflow of water and it's going to be all hands on deck with shovels uh, to fill in around that pipe and uh, then, then it's, you know, once we can get the, the torrent stopped and it's just, you know, it's, uh, fairly systematic just fill this hole back in so let the fun begin <laughs> that's the end of the pipe how far is it up off the bottom it's level with the bottom okay I you know I'm sorry I didn't get to uh, video this for you guys I was up uh, playing with Oh, okay, Red, sorry. What, what? What do you got there, buddy? This is the fried camote. Oh, you got some fried camotes? Yeah. Is this for the guys here? Yeah. Thank you, Red. <laughs> Good job, Red. So, anyway, there's the pipe. That's the level of it. Um, I was up there working on the breeding tanks and didn't get to get down here to uh, video this for you but the drain pipe is in and I'm, I'm I can't uh, I can't tell you how happy I am that it is in this is some slippery going here what can you say Nereo very hot very hot <laughs> I think that's just the only thing you know how to say, Nereo, because today is not very hot. This is like a freezing temperatures for Filipinos. It's still raining. Um, <laughs> well, I'm happy this is done. The riser pipe is in, and uh, came all came back pretty far. Well, what are you talking about, Red? So now it's just a question of uh, getting this all filled back in. <coughs> what I want to do, <coughs> look, I don't know, it's going to be a long time until we get enough uh, solar power to where we can put nets, floating uh, cage nets back in this pond. So long that I'm not even going to do it. Uh, we're, we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing because that's all we can do. Uh, in order to have nets in this pond, um, look, the nets impede the flow of the water. The whole purpose of putting nets in is that you can increase the stocking density. So it has to have aeration in those nets, period and uh, it's going to be at least a year, I would imagine, 
before we get, you know, because we, we only have a limited budget that we can spend on solar, basically as much as what we were spending on our power bill before. Uh, that's what we can afford, and so that's going to take us a year to get uh, our solar system up to where it needs to be. Um, so that we can have, uh, you know, the bare minimum of our, our household needs met, and uh, there won't be a lot left over for the fish. So, we're just going to keep continuing on with this pond like we were before, no more... Uh, nets, uh, no more floating cages, it's just going to be a pond and every uh, four or five months we're just going to drain it, we'll just do what we did this time. But what we are going to do a little bit different, um, if we had time today I'd have the crew do it today. Look, it's, it's too, uh, not conical, conical is this way, it's too, it's, it's, too low in the center and what I wanted to do before it got filled back up was cut out uh, a couple feet all the way around the sides uh, to make the sides more vertical and put that soil in the middle so we can raise up the the very bottom of it like a foot and so it would drain easily uh, because the bottom of this pond is is lower than the level of this pond when it's drained so that's what we need to do. We need to cut all around here and put that soil in the middle. Uh, I know it might, might seem uh, counterproductive that we would make the pond more shallow, but uh, we're not really losing. Um, we're not losing uh, square footage, cubic meters, however you want to put it. Uh, because the, we're adding space on the banks uh, equal to the amount that we're putting uh, in the bottom uh, just to make it more of a flat bottom so it's more of a swimming pool shape uh, and easier to drain. Maybe Monday, it depends. If it stays at this level, then we can do it. Uh, but there might be some real serious rain coming and I don't know, it might fill up too high to make that uh, doable. We'll see. All right, well, we're calling this good for today. Everyone's tired of working out here in the rain. And I need them to, I need the crew up moving the solar around. So we're calling this good. Uh, the pipe is buried, the riser is in it, the plug. Um, and the pond is filling as we speak. So uh, I, had, I had thought we would be laying off near your own ablet and for uh, like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. But look, look they, got, they got families to support uh, as well, and we're it. Uh, we are their means of support. And so, you know, We'll, we'll use the money that we get from this harvest to pay them next Saturday. That's how it's going to work. Uh, what we're going to do, Monday and Tuesday at least, Tatai says they can get it all done in two days. So about, uh, about where Gray Dog is right there up on that bank, going back about two feet, maybe three, we're going to flatten it. We're going to dig into these banks all the way around and throw the dirt into the middle. To flatten the bottom of this pond and raise it so that it's easier to drain and hopefully we can get that done in two days if not well then we can't get it done but it'll be an improvement so that's what we're going to be doing here next week uh, progress we got them harvested out of here we have an easy way to drain the pond now I'm digging it uh, and we're gonna we're gonna keep sweetening up this pond as we go and we're going to be harvesting here out of this pond. This pond needs to be cleaned anyway. So we're going to be harvesting out of this pond, moving the breeders that are hopefully still in it out. Don't know what the status of the, of the shrimp in there. Have no idea if the shrimp are still alive. I, I would anticipate they would be, uh, but probably on the other side of the net. I don't know. But the water, the water lilies are out of control in this pond anyway. And we've got a good window to harvest for Good Friday next year, next week, and so that's what we're going to do. 
Uh, I'm happy that we've got all four ponds in operation now uh, and now the uh, the rotation begins. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.